I'm 16 years old and I'm a senior at Rutgers University, majoring in cell biology and neuroscience. When I was very young, actually, around kindergarten, first grade, and second grade, I began reading actually quite a few advanced texts on biology, and that really got me interested. I think around 13 or 14, I was in community college, then I transferred to Rutgers University as a sophomore. As you can imagine, Rutgers is uh, quite a bit more challenging than middle school coursework. <laughs> so it was um, a bit of an academic challenge for me initially. And also my classmates were a lot older than me and I wasn't quite sure how they'd react. But I think that as, really, as I became acclimated to the coursework and also um, to students that things have turned out very well. My friends sometimes joke about me and my age being like, oh, Kyle, hey, do you want to go out over here? Oh, wait, I forgot. Uh, you're not old enough to drive. Ha, ha, ha. When I transferred to Rutgers and I had a chance to explore the research opportunities here, I became really interested in stem cell research because I felt that it had a lot of potential to be, to be kind of like next generation cures and treatments for human diseases. I've been accepted to Stanford University School of Medicine in the PhD program for developmental biology. So that's where I'll be going uh, this September. And in the summer, I'll be going to Singapore to work with Dr. Bing Lim, who is a Harvard professor now, who is also the deputy director of the Genome Institute of Singapore. I think that scientists normally get into the trap of thinking that sometimes science is just done for the sake of science. But um, I think that it's really important to think about that harder, and that as scientists, we have an obligation not only to understand the world for academic interests, but we really do have an obligation to apply our findings to, human, um, to try to treat human disease. When you find out something new about um, science and the world, um, they say that for a few moments you're the only person on earth that knows something. And I think that's a really great feeling and it's very inspirational.